What's going on guys? So I know I've been absent for a few months and I'm going to fill you guys in on everything that's been going on. So I had a successful off season. I got up to 227 pounds in the morning. Um, I increased my arm size by an inch. Um, all my indicator lifts went up, uh, repping 300 pounds on reverse grip bench press, 225 pounds on strict standing overhead press for a couple reps, um, weighted chin ups, hundred pounds for reps. Um, so strength is up on everything and my measurements are up as well. So that was a success for the most part. A few months ago, you know, I had some stuff going on in my life, some stress, and uh, I did an unintentional mini cut, I guess you could call it, and I'm down to 205 pounds right now. So I, good, the good news is that I retained most of my strength, so it was mostly fat and water that I lost. Typically, it takes about 4,000 calories a day just for me to maintain 220 pounds. And for every five pounds after that, add 500 calories. So on 3,500 calories, I maintain about 210. And I've been tracking my diet for a few weeks now and just kind of staying where I'm at. And 3,300 calories is where I maintain about 205. So I'm happy with that right now because I'm still getting stronger. Um, I'm pretty much 95% as strong as I was at 227, so that's good. But anyway, more news. I will not be competing at the Arnold in March. I know that was originally my plan, but a few things have come up. There's a couple surgeries that I need to do. My first one is on Thursday. I, uh, I have an umbilical hernia, and I had noticed a little bit of distension in my abdomen maybe the past year maybe one year and a half, like a slight distension in my lower abdomen, even when I was below 10% body fat. And so I thought it was weird. And then I started getting discomfort doing ab exercises to the point where I can barely do ab exercises without feeling nauseous at this point. So I investigated, discovered I had an umbilical hernia, and I decided to go ahead and repair that. So I'm gonna get that out of the way. I will not be able to lift weights for a month, at least from what I've heard. Um, but we'll see what that recovery is like. And I think it's gonna be a good thing for me because I'm gonna spend that month doing a ton of stretching, a ton of mobility work. I need to restore hip flexion. I need to restore hip internal rotation. I gotta get my hip mobility up to par so that when I attack the lower body workouts moving forward, I'm able to do so without pain. Um, I have a structural leg length discrepancy. My right tibia is longer than my left and I'm gonna be going to a podiatrist next week to see if I can get a custom orthotic to deal with that because I've tried to get rid of, I had an insert before for years. I got rid of it and I was like, oh, you know what? My body will just adapt to it, but not really. I'm still getting random knee irritation here and there. So I'm gonna investigate getting that orthotic to see if it helps my situation as well as restoring my mobility. So that's another thing I'm gonna deal with. In February, I am getting my bars removed from my chest. So I had the NUS procedure in 2015. I had three steel bars implanted inside my rib cage. And it's been a life-changing surgery for me. And now it's time to get the bars out of my chest. Luckily, that procedure is not uh, intensive with the recovery. It's not a big deal. Um, from what I've heard, there's a little bit of discomfort for a couple of weeks, but I should be back in the gym, worst case scenario, within a month. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I'm in no rush. That, I'm interested to see how it's going to affect my training because I'm going to be able to breathe deeper. I feel restriction when I take a deep breath around my rib cage. As, because the bars are tied to my ribs, I feel restricted in the movement of my rib cage and also my thoracic spine. So it's almost like I'm kyphotic through my upper back a little bit. And I've noticed that after getting the surgery, I have back irritation when I do deadlifts and other hinge related exercises. I've gotten to the point where it's manageable, but if I push 500 pounds, I'm going to feel it. I'm, it's going to feel bad. Um, so I'm, ha I'm, I'm looking forward to getting rid of this restriction through my rib cage. And also it restricts my movement with my scapula. So I can't fully protract my scapula. So as a result, it affects my chest and my rhomboid training and other back training. Um, so my left scapula wings off my back a little bit because of this, this bar end that's blocking my scapula. So it'll be interesting to see what it's like once that's uh, gone and I have full range of motion again because I do feel a restriction just moving my shoulders around. So 
after February in the surgery, the NUS bar removal surgery, I'm going to initiate my full blown off season. Uh, I'm going to try and get all the size back. I'm going to really uh, plan out carefully how big I plan to get and how fast I plan to do it. Um, I almost feel like doing these 20 plus pound bulks is detrimental or it's a waste of time and energy because when I cut back down, it seems like I've only gained a few pounds of muscle and the rest is water and fat. So maybe a, sm a slower approach is better, but I'm going to play around with things and uh, figure out what the best course of action is. Once I get the size ready and I feel like I'm ready, I will look into doing a national level competition towards the end of 2019. Now, if I'm not ready, I'm not going to push it. I'll do, I'll either keep uh, training, keep bulking, getting bigger, maintaining, and think about making a run for it in 2020, which I would have to qualify again for, which I could easily do. Um, so I'll either, I'll either do that or maybe do a local show. I'm also interested in classic physique. And um, I'm, not, I'm open to the idea, but let's see what happens. Let's see what kind of size I can bring. Let's see if I could bring my legs up after I clear up the knee issues. And we'll see what happens from here. That's my update for you. I'm going to spend this month doing some more talking videos. Uh, I'm going to talk about some different topics, especially uh, related to pectus excavatum. Um, I want to talk about my experiences with that a little bit more. And if there's anything you guys want me to talk about, let me know. Either write it in the comment section down below or send me a private message and uh, I'll start talking about some of this stuff. I've got a lot of good information for you guys. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you guys soon.